Hey guys, my name is Mohan Pover, and today I'm going to show you how to deal with overwhelm. Let's get to it. So I get many questions of people asking me, hey, how do I deal with all those opportunities? I got this investment opportunity, that deal, that business option, and all those different opportunities around you that get you overwhelmed. You have the option to even maybe internally in your business to try and do this or do that or that marketing or that sales strategy or develop that product or that product. And you have so many opportunities in your life. And the question is, where can you put your focus on? Because you can put your focus on all of them. If you're going to put your focus on all of those options, you just, first of all, you just won't get results you, because you're going to be average at each if you're going to spread your time into too many things. And then I think the second thing is, first of all, to just appreciate the fact that you have those opportunities. It means that you grow. Uh, unless you had all those opportunities, I mean, you won't grow. And when you have all those options, the investment here, the business that, business that, it means that you personally grow as a person and as, as, as a businessman. So first of all, just, just take a second to appreciate that. I think this, the, the another thing to, to, to really focus on is the fact that other people might tell you, hey, it's okay to go through different routes and it's okay to try many, many things. But unless you're focused at something, you can't get successful at it. And it's something that you got to understand. You can't be an amazing person. I don't believe in those people who say that they're, uh, they're best in the world in all those different things. Even if you look at Michael Jordan when he tried ba baseball, he was just awful at baseball. I mean, obviously, compared to the, what he did in, in, in basketball, just because he put more time into basketball. Maybe if he initially put all of his time into baseball, maybe he could have become one of the best there as well. I'm, I'm actually thinking that there's a good chance that that might happen. But it's really hard to start many things from scratch, basically, and becoming amazing in all of them. Now, many people might tell you, hey, you should try this or that uh, productivity strategy and put as many things as you can into your calendar every day and follow this method for productivity or get things done or whatever. So many different methods and options to become more productive. And don't get me wrong, there is something good about those strategies. But in the end of the day, to stop being overwhelmed is first of all to know how to say no to things. At this stage, as personally as well, I need to, to say no in my day much more than I need to say yes. Um, actually, you need to say yes only a few times, especially when you want to grow fast. Otherwise, you just can't focus. And I think at its own level of success, it's about eliminating as many things as possible. Like get to a point where you only need to do the few things that you are especially good at and that you want to especially become best at. And the rest of it, you need to find a way to either delegate it or to just eliminate it from your life. I mean, things even like watching TVs and, and Netflix shows and all that stuff. If you decide that that's something you want to do in your life, you got to have a very specific short period of time that you do that. Otherwise, I know people are overwhelmed by, by the amount of TV shows they need to watch. And literally, they, they, they literally forget where they at in each TV show. Like, they, they're not sure which episode is it in that TV show or that, that TV show that literally write notes to themselves to, to remind themselves with which uh, episode they're in that TV show and what happened so they won't forget and get overwhelmed with all those TV shows they're watching. And I, I, I hope you, you're not one of those people because especially if you're watching this channel, it means that you want to grow in business, you want to become best in business. And again, you have two options there as well. One of them is to learn the skills of, of starting the business from scratch. And here's another issue I, should, I see in that area. People just start many businesses at the same time from scratch. They try consulting business, they try Amazon business, they try uh, drop shipping business, they try whatever. So many different opportunities out there, especially online. And they start all of those businesses at the same time. Um, the, the chances of those people to be successful is very, very low. And that's based on my experience and based on my, the people I see who try to do that. Then you have the other option, which is what this channel is about, which is you can go and buy an existing business. And that's a different skill set as well. So you've got to really decide, do you want to start a business from scratch? Do you want to buy businesses? If you want to buy businesses, there are only a few skills that you need to learn to become a master at that space. Same goes with starting a business. Now, both of them are okay. I think it's just a matter of making a decision. What do you think is better fit for you? What you want to do in life? Because if you want to start a business, I would say that's the best fit for those who want to change the world with their technology. Um, I'd say that's probably the only reason to start a business. But even then, that there's another 
agree, um, I guess, conception to the fact that you can just buy an existing business in the sector of that technology you want to change the world at, and just then introduce that technology, the technology into that business when you already have an existing list of clients, and you just have a track record as a business. Then maybe your valuations might be different versus starting them from scratch. So again, if you have a very very unique technology, I might tell you, hey, you know what, go and start from scratch. But most people that I know, they want to get into business because they want the lifestyle, and they want the income. And eventually, when they have the lifestyle and the income, they understand that it's about contribution, and that's where that, that usually comes into people's life as well. They just want to do things because it's contribute to other people. So just make a decision. What do you want to do? Why are you in? In business are you in to change the world with your technology or are you in it at least at this stage for more of the lifestyle uh, the income and maybe becoming the best version of yourself and also figure out what skills you want to practice day to day with buying businesses it's about the art of the deal it's about talking to people negotiating with people and for me it's fun it's kind of like you know uh, building rapport with people asking questions uh, being curious about people and learning about their business that's kind of like the skills are there and with starting a business from scratch, I mean, obviously it depends on your industry, but it's more about many times repeating day-to-day -day repeatable stuff like creating marketing campaigns and dealing with um, accounting and, and, and cash flow management. And, and obviously there's some of it in here as well when you're just the owner of the business as the shareholder, but you mostly have someone doing those things for you day-to-day. -day. So it's just about making the decision. And for me, at least in the end of the day, I think the big thing that sold me about buying existing businesses is the fact that it's just faster because there's nothing wrong on starting business from scratch. It's just that it's going to take you much longer to build something successful. And unfortunately, if you look at the stats out there, most of the new businesses fail. Um, those are just facts. Most startups fail. And even if you're a business that isn't 10 years old uh, in business yet, then you're basically a startup. And unfortunately, you have a big chance to, to, to fail. So what we're doing is we just buy businesses that usually exist for at least five or 10 years. So that's kind of like the difference. Uh, but again, it's really up to you. If you want to start a business from scratch, I'm sure you could find other people who can help you with that. If you want to buy an existing business and you just don't, you don't just want the strategy A to Z, but you want the support, the accountability. And uh, me and my team, we also invest capital into those deals many times of the deals of our clients. So if that's something you want to explore, go to moanpober.com forward slash quiz. Just click the... The, I guess the box that fits you and I'll tell you what to do next. So that's it for today, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you didn't yet. It really helps me. I would really, really appreciate that. Otherwise, yeah, like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what are your strategies um, to not get overwhelmed. For me, it's all about uh, eliminating as much as possible, like literally asking yourself daily, what can I eliminate from my life that isn't necessary? And what is the one thing I need to focus on to get closer to my goals? Um, and it's all about just focusing on, on saying more no to opportunities and yes to just few and just, re, uh, I guess, become a master of those. So, yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.